importance of daylight in our projects uh, really comes down to using daylight as a tool. So much like we think about texture and materiality, uh, compression, um, and space and at atmosphere, uh, we use light as a tool to tell a story, to, to kind of enhance a narrative uh, of an architectural story. So we translate uh, vernacular architecture, primarily the work that we've done uh, in the east coast of Canada, uh, in Nova Scotia. Uh, we use the vernacular as a starting point. Um, and we go through a process that we call adaptation that essentially takes that vernacular, those local materials and the local forms uh, that have developed over time. And we use that as a starting point before we start morphing and start bending and pleating uh, and folding uh, the form to conform both to uh, specific user needs uh, as well as uh, the specific climate and context of the area, uh, really sort of enhancing it as much as possible. I mean, there's so many uh, projects that uh, inspire in its use of light, but it's really the ones uh, where the narrative um, uh, has, uh, you know, a dramatic kind of uh, tale to it. And usually that means that there are both extreme darks and very bright lights um, to sort of enhance that narrative of architecture. Um, a project that really stands out is one that I've seen recently, uh, which is uh, Horn Jutzan's uh, Copenhagen uh, Church, uh, Vagsgaard Church, um, which really is very high contrast and has real curtains of light falling over the space but then long dark corridors and um, it's really kind of a dramatic use of light as a tool uh, for creating a narrative in architecture.